Hello YouTube, I've got a review of the new iPad, the third generation iPad. This is the Wi-Fi only version, as you can tell from the silver back. And this is 16 gigabyte version. As you can see, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Some more information down there. So let's have a quick look and do the review. Oh. So, the new iPad is amazing. It features a 5 megapixel camera, the A5X chip, which is dual core processor and quad core graphics. It has the stunning Retina display that the iPhone 4 and 4S have. Let's put the cover on it and stand it up a bit more. It's a stunning Retina display. And it's super fast. It comes in three capacities. You've got 16 gigs, which is this one, 32 gigabytes, or 64 gigabytes. And you can get black and white, and you can get Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi plus 4G, not 3G, 4G. Uh, so I'm just going to basically show you a couple of the apps that come installed on the device, and a few apps you can get for it. So the first app I'm going to show you is Photo Booth. This comes on the device when you set it up. And as you can see, the reason they look, all look blue is because of the flash from the, the phone I'm using. So basically, it's a camera that you can have lots of different effects on. If I go to something like thermal camera, and you can take a picture. What's that? <laughs> Take a picture. Screen flashes white, and then that's your picture. So, Photo Booth is a good app for if you want to take a couple of pictures with your mates, or just muck around taking pictures. Now, something like that would be good on the iPod Touch. Oh, I have a lot of notifications. Something like that would be good on the iPod Touch and the iPhone, as you're more likely to carry them around with you to go see your mates. You can, there's quite a few effects on here. There's nine all together. You've got squeeze. Which if I just get, oh. ooh, never noticed that before. Tap it and it changes it. Let's tap right there. So squeeze mucks around with your face a bit. You have kaleidoscope. There's loads of different ones. You have thermal cam, which I just showed you. Twelve, which sort of hello. Got my spinch face out. You've obviously got normal mirror. Let's see if this works standing up like this. Mirror. If I get down here, we'll be able to see a bit more. Uh, mirror, normal, to a stretch, which stretches out your face. Light tunnel, which basically sends a tunnel of light over the place. <laughs> and then you've got x-ray, which you can't do a lot with. So that's Photo Booth. That is a pretty amazing app. I'm not playing around with with your mates, but as I say, something like that would be good from Apple on the iPod Touch and the iPhone 4S. Or if they do bring out another iPhone this year on the iPhone that comes out this year, if they release one. Um, another app I'm going to have a look at <coughs> that comes installed on the device is Maps. Now Maps. I do use quite a lot. I take it out with my iPhone and uh let me get rid of that. Connect my iPhone to it. And it sort of it just basically works as if this was a three G or four G iPad. Uh and then I can get directions. So if I wanted to go from say one in oh, I can't remember the address, but if you have got the 
uh, iPhone that can do be a personal hotspot. You don't need to buy the 4G or iPad or 3G if you're getting an iPad 2 or the first gen iPad. You only need the Wi-Fi only. Um, and yeah, you just connect it up through your phone's wireless internet. And you can use it as if this was a uh, had a mobile set your little mobile network thing. Now I'm going to show you an app I love that doesn't come downloaded on the iPad. It's a free app, but you have to buy. You can buy extras for the app. It's called Magic Piano. Uh, and some of you may already have this. This is by Smule. It says you can get loads of different songs. Um. I'm going to play a song for you here, I'm going to play Grenade by Bruno Mars. Mm. Let me go back to songbook a second. I just want to turn game mode off and play just the way you are. I love doing this song, it's so easy to do. So that's Magic Piano, I sort of knocked the camera in. Uh, I love the app, it is amazing. There are a loads of amazing apps you can get on here. Some are better than others, some are terrible, but some are great. Uh, a lot of the app apps are pretty awesome as well, that come standard. Like Game Center, I don't think I have it set up on here. Oh no, I do. But, it's not. 
I've not got it set up with many games, but yeah. So the new iPad is pretty amazing. It, this one is a tiny bit thicker than the last gen iPad, so iPad 2. But the thick, I can't remember what the thickest point of this one is. I don't know, it's a bit heavier as well. It's also got a lot of finger marks. Uh, but it, it still works with all iPad 2 accessories, like the iPad 2 dock. It still fits in perfectly with. And the famous iPad smart cover. I have the product red version. Also, the new iPad smart case, it works with that as well. So, my verdict on the new iPad is it's worth 400, the £400 pounds you pay for the 16 gig one. It's worth the 479 quid you pay for the 32 gig Wi-Fi one. There's no point, if you own an iPhone like me, getting a cellular one because you can just use your iPad iPhone cellular. Uh, I was going to get 32 gig, but I tried everywhere and nowhere had them in stock, so I settled for 30 uh, for 16 gigs. Start sort of regret it, but hey, I've got the 32 gig iPod Touch instead. So, but um, I strongly suggest 32 gigs, Wi-Fi only. Your choice of color. They're both as good as each other. I prefer white. Some people may be different, but another reason why I prefer white is because I have the white iPhone 4s and my iPod Touch 4th generation. But yeah, final verdict is if you want one, get one because they are amazing. The only thing I think they could have done better with the white version is made all the inserts white because I don't think there actually are any inserts in there. Yeah, they could have made that bit there white. They could have made the buttons here on the side and the lock, uh, the mute switch or lock uh, orientation rotate uh, lock. Could have made them white. Could have made the Apple logo white, which has remained black, which is a bit of a shame. Could have made the lock button white. Because to be honest, I th I prefer all white. Same with the inserts in the headphone jack. But other than that, it is a good device. So I would recommend getting one. Comment and rate down below. Tell me what you think about the new iPad. Subscribe up there. Uh, I'm going to start doing something now. If you, the best comment about the new iPad below will be featured in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe and get commenting because your comment could be featured in the next video. Have fun.